Are you looking to level up your website with a little custom code? Today I'm going to show you five of my favorite resources for finding custom code to add to Squarespace websites. And I'm going to show you some codes that I've actually used this year for my own projects. Now, before I forget, some of these shops are offering a discount code, and I've put that in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you want to save a little bit of money on the paid plugins. But there are plenty of free resources, too. I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace web designer, and I'm really excited to show you these great resources. So let's dive in. So our first stop is Will Meyer's plugin store. Now Will and I collaborated on this plugin and it's perfect for when you are building the same thing over and over again and you may want to update it but then you have to track it down and update it in all those places. So Will built this plugin. It's called Section Loader Supreme. So this plugin just lets you add a little snippet and it inserts a section you've already designed. And if you update that design once, it updates it everywhere you have that little snippet. So here on my blog, I use it in a lot of blog posts. I have a client process checklist. So if there are web designers coming in my blog, I want them to know about this product. So I have it designed and listed here. And if I ever update it, I can just update it in one place and it updates everywhere. Or if I wanted to highlight a different product, I could change this in one place and it would just automatically update everywhere I have this snippet across my website. So it's super handy. You can use it in, on any kind of page, in blog posts. You can use it even in product descriptions. So if you find yourself doing the same thing over and over for products, it's a great use case there. Now, I do have a coupon code that Will gave me. It's Christy Price, and you can save 10% off anything in the plugin store. So I'll drop that below, but definitely check out his whole plugin shop. There are a lot of great things you can find there. All right, next up, I want to show you a, another resource, and it is where I found the code for these really cool button effects. And it is Ghost Plugins. Now, Ghost has a lot of free plugins. They're listed here. So if you wanted to see some free button plugins, you could find those here. There are also super plugins. Now, these you do have to pay a little for, but they make a huge difference in how your website looks and feels to your user. So this pressy button is a big favorite of mine. Another popular group of plugins are these logo loading screens. You can get the circle or the bar, and it shows the client's logo while the site's loading. So lots of really great plugins here too. Again, check out the free ones, but if you do purchase one of the super plugins, you can use a discount code, which again is Christy Price. It'll save you 10%. All right, next up, Becca at Inside the Square has a huge list of tutorials. All of these are code solutions for something that might be challenging you with your website. And I'm actually gonna show you one that I plan to use soon. So this is the new blog post paywall text and Becca's code allows you to change what it says. So if you don't wanna say sign up to read this post, you can put whatever text you want here for the paywall text. And she has a walkthrough video and copy and paste code. So Becca has a ton of code here for you to check out. She also has some courses and I recently went through her advanced CSS course and it was super helpful. So if you are looking to learn to code a little bit on your own, this is a fantastic course. I'll drop a link below. All right, next up, I wanted to show you on my own website, I have a typewriter effect here. And I wanted to just give a little bit of movement to the site. And I found this at Beatrice Caraballo's website. Now, Beatrice has an entire code base. And if you want to search for something in particular, you can just search for typewriter, if I can spell. And here's the code for creating a typewriter effect. And this is exactly what I used. For my website. If you go back to the code base, you can search by category, by block or section type, tons and tons of free code here that you can grab. Now Beatrice also offers services. So if you have an idea for something, but you're not sure how to code it, if you hire Beatrice, she will do it for you. Next up is another site that I created for a client and he had a lot of great logos that he wanted to add to the site for social proof. 
but I didn't want to create a massive logo wall. So I found a plugin by Chris Schwartz Edmiston. It's called Animated Scrolling Logos. And again, there's a coupon code for this. It's Christy Price. You can save 10%. I'll drop a link to it below. But this Animated Scrolling Logos is a fantastic way to showcase a lot of logos without having it take up most of your page. Chris has a ton of other plugins here that you can check out. And he also has a lot of tutorials. And finally, one other kind of bonus thing I wanted to show you. I have a little quiz here on my website. It's a rotating floating button. And I got the code from that from Will Myers Code Curious Membership. Now, if you want to kind of keep a hand in the code world, learn a little bit about what goes on behind these plugins and be able to target things yourself, this membership is fantastic. It's only $15 a month. You can cancel anytime. I've been a member for probably almost a year now, and it is something that I look forward to whenever I'm digging into code or designing a new website that I need some ideas for. So if you're interested, check out Code Curious. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. It helps this video show up in search results so that other people can find it too. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, and I wish you all the best with your website.